Reality check. Did thinking the check was good stop it from bouncing? Understanding rational versus irrational reasoning, dialogue and behavior. Reality. Is it what I think or what it is? Thinking I have ten dollars when I have eight does not help when the bill is nine. Most of my wrong thinking, being of minor consequence, passes me by with little consideration. What if I really mess up? I think the light is green when it is red and there is a disaster. What I think does not change the real facts. Reality. Reality is always what it is. It may or may not be what I think. Otherwise, I would always be right. But I am often wrong. Consequently, how accurately I perceive reality determines my stability. Consider, I may be confined to a psychiatric facility when my perception of reality becomes so distorted I am a danger to myself or others. It is extremely imperative to read this particular article slowly and methodically with minimal emotion to avoid prejudicial reactions that disrupt objectivity. Being entitled to my opinions does not make my opinions correct. Opinions do not determine facts. Facts determine the legitimacy of opinions. There are good, bad, minor, major consequences to our opinions about facts. We are referring to opinions about facts, not preferences. If you like blue and I like red, those are opinions of preference, not fact. Although it may be a fact that you like blue and I like red. Opinions about facts are based on perceptions that may be correct or incorrect. If you say there are five and I say three diamonds on the table, we both cannot be correct. One of us is right and one of us is wrong, or we are both wrong. If there are five, you are right and I am wrong. If three, you are wrong and I am right. If eight, we are both wrong. Furthermore, fact, truth, reality is not subject to a majority vote. If ten people said seven diamonds when it is eight, it is not going to change the fact that it is eight. We are not talking about the power to change something. If we can change it, it still was what it was, is what it is, and it will be what it will be, changed or not. Reality is one overall truth with many categories, each category having its truths. Like a table with two rubies, three diamonds, and five emeralds on it. In this context, it is intelligent to say there are many truths. However, it is absurd to say there are many contrary truths. Trickery aside, it is absurd to say on the table are two and six rubies at the same time. Data contrary to a fact is a fault opposing the truth, if appropriated, produces reality instability. These precepts are the foundation to psychosomatic stability, a reality checklist for evaluating our perceptions. Positive and negative perceptions influence emotional reactions and performance, but do not determine facts. When evaluating facts about truth, allowing emotions to override logic, distorts perception, causing reality instability. Opinions based on sound logistical determinations derived from undeniable facts should pave the way for balanced emotions. The avoidance tactic of jumping to emotional conclusions before clear evaluation is unstable with ultimate consequences. You have your truth, I have my truth is a social political oxymoron. If what we think is absolute reality truth, then nobody's thinking is wrong and there are no absolute values. Nobody is wrong, so we impose no consequences. To do so is hypocrisy. Defending ourselves against those doing what they think is right is imposing on their reality truth. Let those incarcerated and certified go free to pillage a deceived world. Obviously, this is absurd. However, many advocate this type of confusion when they are intellectually cornered, even supposed intellectuals. Of course, they only advocate this fallacy as far as they feel comfortable, not considering this false logic has no barriers. Most people are open-minded until confronted with truth outside their comfort zone. They avoid by emotionally reacting with an internal illogical rebuttal. They think nobody sees. They believe it is their right to irrationally reject reasonable reasoning. They demand freedom without liability. To many, there is no right or wrong, until you cross their boundaries. Just offer to abuse whatever is precious to them. Believe it. 
Not only every word and action has a consequence, but every thought. What if we knew our minds were being perpetually monitored? Obviously, we would consider all things in our heads more comprehensively, you would think, and society would be healed, right? Thus, why are so many that say they believe in God so messed up? Self-serving comes to mind, regardless of knowing the potential consequences. Freedom is responsibility. Only the truly open-minded persist through emotional distortions into a clear logical comprehension, comfortable or not. Only then is there a chance to get it right. Not a surety, but a hope in trusting the loving truth, not ourselves. Truth is love. The author will gladly give $100 to the first person to show this article inconclusive.